Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a fantastic quick quiz here for you, and this one's for just about everyone from the CSUNT to the CCNP, because uh, there's a great troubleshooting command in today's lab. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring the live router up right now, and I need you to tell me what command is resulting in this output. And I still have it running. And I'd also like you to tell me when we're done with whatever we're doing here. <laughs> uh, how do I make this stop? Because that's, that's a good idea, too. you got to know how to make this stop. So if you want to pause the video and think about your answer for a few seconds, that's great, because we're going to go right into the discussion on this now. And also, if you know the answer, don't go anywhere yet, because there are a couple of little troubleshooting tips I want to give you here as well. So anytime that you see output of a command, whether it be practice exam, on the real exam, job interview, there's always the chance that you haven't seen it before. But if you look around in the output of the command, there's going to be some kind of clue as to what's going on. You're not going to run any command, whether it be a debug command or show command, it's just a bunch of random information. So here we've got some information. It's coming in every 10 seconds. Notice the timestamp. It's coming in every 10 seconds. We've got a mention of our serial zero interface and something coming in and something going out. And you'll notice that this my sequence number and your scene number, those are incrementing. And the DTE is up, which is always good. See anything else in here? It's a little bit of a clue as to what's going on. We've got mentions of some DELCs here. That points to what? Something that begins with or has the initials FR, perhaps, for frame relay in cap. Yeah, this is a frame relay command. And what I'm going to do right now is run you all. And that's the command that's undebug all. You can turn debugs off individually, but at the end of the day, when you're done with a lab or you're done in a client site, always run you all and make sure you have all your debugs off. So let's see, what do you think this one is? I know you have an idea, but let me go up to the top where I ran this. Sorry for the scrolling there. And the command was debug frame LMI. This is your LMI debugging. And what you want to look for, it's a great command first for initial frame relay troubleshooting, especially in a lab environment. You start changing things around a little bit, and then you come back the next day, or you're a little tired, and they say, hey, you know, I should have uh, done this. Well, what you can do is run this command, and it's going to show you if you've got some kind of LMI problem, because what's going to happen is the DTE is going to show as down uh, and also your my sequence numbers. These numbers are not going to be incrementing the way you want them to. So again, this is debug frame LMI. Not to be confused, perhaps, with show LMI. This is the output of that particular command. And let's go ahead and just run this. I'll go a little longer than three minutes with this one. You'll see these two numbers increment the inquiries sent and messages received, and that's exactly what you want. So a little bonus there, as always, from TBA. Thanks for watching today's quick quiz. Hope you'll join me out on Udemy. Plenty of free content out there, and also I guarantee you'll beat the September 2013 CCNA and CSENT changes. If you don't pass both for any reason with my video boot camp, you get my own new 2120 video boot camp in September absolutely free. So I look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks for watching today's video and for making TBA part of your success story.